Every year, there are many different holidays that allow you to leverage to increase your sales and for you to create different items. So then that way, once again, you stay relevant. That's the reason why we want to be able to lean on holidays for an excuse for you to create something new, something of a talking point. Now, why is it important? First up, it keeps your brand and content fresh. You have something fresh all the time. And on top of that, it allows you to stay relevant. And lastly, it just allows you to be creative. Now, when we're talking about keeping your brand and content fresh, what does it mean? Because it allows you to have inspiration on what content to photo shoot for, what flavors to create, new product ideas. This allows your product and your brand to be always up to date. That is, is fresh because at the end of the day, no one wants to eat a stale cookie. That's the same thing for your brand. Allows you to stay fresh, gives you inspiration and a reason to create content. And the next reason why holiday themed campaigns are so important because it allows you to stay relevant. When you create something that is timely, something that is relevant to what is happening in the world right now, then people will talk about it. It's just as simple as, hey, if it's Christmas time and you have a Christmas flavored ice cream, then people will talk about it because it's interesting and there's a talking point to it because it's relevant. Whereas no one talks about Christmas in the summertime because that's not relevant. That's the reason why we want to create something that is relevant. And on top of that, it allows you to be able to, to be creative. At the end of the day, you spent the last six modules putting in and laying the foundations. Now it is time for you to be creative and have fun during this whole process. Try new things out. That's the reason why we are doing holiday themed campaigns. So instead of just running giveaway contests all the time, we want to be able to intervene and, and weave the holiday campaigns through this as well. Now, a pro tip about this is that holiday campaigns, we're not talking about discounts all the time because when you run discounts, you are going to be cutting into your margins and it's not going to be sustainable. And on top of that, you train your customers to always wait for these holidays before they buy from you because they're going to be bargain hunting all the time. We don't want to train our customers to do that. That's the reason why we don't want to do that. Now, the five steps in planning your themed campaigns. First up, look at the calendar and choose the relevant events that you want to create a campaign for. Next up, talk, create a talking point. What does that mean? Create a talking point, an angle that is interesting, an angle that is fresh, an angle that is new, that works with your brand. And we're going to dive into deep about this part later on. Prepare a month in advance. A lot of times we don't want to, and it seems like a little work, but minimum, you need at least a month time for you to prepare for this whole campaign. And then create a timeline so then that way you can launch your campaign on time and schedule your campaign to go live and execution. Those are the five steps in planning your theme campaigns. Let's dive right in. First up, look at the an annual calendar of holidays and events. Look at what holidays are applicable to you. So for example, there are holidays such as National Donut Day. And if you're running a bakery and selling donuts, this would be a perfect holiday for you to create a campaign around. Once again, there are so many holidays that are throughout the whole year. It is for you to select the right ones that are most suitable for your brand. So you can click on this link for you to find out the random different holidays out there or just holidays, big holidays in general that you want to be able to create a campaign for, such as Christmas, such as Halloween, such as Thanksgiving. Those are also great days. Now, I would recommend picking at least four holidays throughout the whole year for you to create a campaign on. Next up is to create a talking point. What do I mean by that? When leveraging off a holiday season, it is super important for you to create something new for your customers during this time. So I'm not telling you to create a completely new product for your themed campaigns or your holiday campaigns. It could be a different spin, a different presentation, a different collaboration to match that together. And as you can see right here, the campaign that we did was that when people, for Mother's Day, when people came in to purchase ice cream with their mom uh, on uh, that Mother Day's, uh, Mother's Day weekend, they get a free bouquet of flowers. And on top of that, they can sign up for them to have and learn how to create their own bouquet of flower arrangement workshop as well. So this became a really popular event that we actually completed and that we executed on. And it was super, super successful. A lot of people, millennials brought their mom in for their chance to eat some ice cream and created something fun 
with their mother. And that's the type of talking point we want to be able to create. Find an angle that is new. It could it could be a new uh, holiday flavor or it could be something that is a spin and something that is presented just a little bit differently. And make sure to let your customers know it's only a limited amount of time and be creative with this whole talking point, right? Check out your competitors to see what they are offering as their talking points and evolve from that. Now, I want you to be able to pre prepare at least a month in advance because this will allow you to have sufficient time to prepare. And for example, our Christmas holiday campaign, we prepared our campaign earlier in, I would say November, if not late October. Actually, you know what, in October is when we created it because we need to customize these cups as you can see here, right? Um, because sometimes when you're doing uh, a new flavor or a new packaging, you may need to be able to order new in ingredients or custom packaging. And so for us, it took us a little bit of time to get these cups prepared. Now, also allows you enough time to content create your captions your photos your contests and to get your influencers to get your giveaways uh, prepared and all those requires a lot of time now a pro tip with this is that when you are doing your r d be creative and make sure that your product makes financial sense. We don't want to go all out. And as you can see here, we already offer a green tea ice cream. We already offer milk tea ice cream. So the flavor itself, the profile, we didn't do any changes to it. All we did was to make changes to the way that we presented the item. We created new cups so then that way we can keep our brand fresh. And on top of that, we created a new talking point because now we have a Christmas tree we're selling. We have a reindeer that we're selling. But at the end of the day, it's the same product and the same cost. All we did was be creative. That's what you wanna be able to do with your campaigns. Now, the next step is to create a timeline to make sure that you can launch in time. We don't wanna wing this whole thing because you're gonna be putting in effort and we wanna make sure that this is as successful as possible. The way to do this is to identify the key dates and work backwards. Some of the questions that you wanna answer right away is, when is the holiday that I wanna propose and create this themed campaign? What is the duration of this campaign? Now I'm working backwards. Hey, what do I, when do I need to have all my social media posts created in order for me to be able to pr uh, promote this holiday campaign? When do I need to send all the information with influencers? When do I need to have my photo shoot done? So then that way I can send the information to my influencers. So then that way we can schedule for social media posts. So then that way we would know how long this whole campaign lasts in order for us to hit the themed holidays, right? So work backwards as well. And these are more of the questions that you wanna be able to ask yourself. And on top of that, you may have even more questions that you're asking yourself. So continue to work backwards and continue to question yourself what needs to be done in order for me to achieve to the next step. Now, as an example, this is what we've created and in the resources down below, download it as a template for you to see the questions that we ask and the dates that we fill in. And for you, you may be able to switch some of the tasks around in order for you to actually make sense of this whole thing. But nonetheless, as you can see, after we decide on the holiday, then we can decide on the duration, then we can decide on the rest of the, the different questions and the different tasks that we need to complete. Then we would know when we need to start by the very, very latest. Last step is for you to schedule your campaign with your social media and go live. Now that you have scheduled everything, now that you have your photo shoot done, it is time for us to schedule and promote your campaign. Add the content that you have created already onto your later account, so then that way you can prepare, be prepared to go live. And during the whole live period, you don't want to be uh, sitting in front of the computer, posting content, writing captions, because that's going to soak you away from running a successful campaign. As an example, this is what we've created as a photo shoot. And a pro tip is to make sure you manage your expectation. What I mean by that is because initially for your first campaign, you might have really high hopes on having a lot of sales, but the real objective for your first campaign is not about sales. It is about learning the ropes, understanding how it, what it takes to run a campaign and what it works and the logistics, because ultimately you're gonna be doing this over and over and over again until you have very consistent sales. Once again, 
Consistency in running these campaigns is key in order for you to have consistent sales. So once again, it's about the consistency. So the first time, make sure you manage your expectation. As an example for us, as a Bulbasaur kit that we created for you as a case study, we've selected four different holidays that we wanna be able to create content for. First up, Valentine's Day. Second, National Bubble Tea Day. Third, Halloween Day. And lastly, Christmas holiday. And then we have different ideas uh, about the talking points that we can create. Uh, rose flavored tea, strawberry flavored tea, heart shaped pearls or jelly, Valentine's themed decor, whatever the case may be. Just ideas, ideas, ideas that we throw into this campaign. And then you can either talk to your partner or talk to your customers about, hey, would this be a good idea? And then you can start and going out there to create your themed campaigns. Once again, that example you can download within the resources sheet down below. Now it is your turn, use the websites that I've presented to you to select your holidays. Then use the campaigns and the templates that we've prepared for you, use it to your advantage and plan out your first timeline. Once again, the resources are on the links below.